Hey, it's your girl Kyra's Crystal Vision. Hey, give me some that, babies. Boop. Oh, grrr. hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sending you so much love and good vibes, babies. Thank you to my OGs, my in-betweens, and welcome new subscribers. Welcome to the family, babies. I love you. I'm always sending you so much love and beautiful energy. You are amazing. Know that I'm always proud of you. And remember, babies, you can do it. No matter how hard it gets, you can do it, okay? Now, reminder, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. My readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into them, they will resonate accordingly. Okay, my babies. I pray that whenever you're peering into my reading, whether during the week, the weekend, day, night, evening, you just can't sleep, that it helps you. And it is such a beautiful pleasure. And I am eternally grateful that this is a part of my purpose and I can help you guys, okay? Along your self-evolution, okay? Sacred, spiritual, individualized journeys of co-creating, alchemizing, manifesting, healing, and much more, okay? I love you, love you, love you. Absolutely do, babies. All right, let's get to the reading. But before we do, we call upon God, our angels that are assigned to us. We call upon our ancestors, spirit team, passed on loved ones, high-ranking deities and Orishas. Yes, that love us, protect us, guide us every single day. First and foremost, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take a minute. Amen. And we ask of you during this message and even after this message to please protect us from any evil eye, black magic, witchcraft, negative projections, negative energy, false narratives, gluttony, gossip, lies, rumors, untruths, unclean spirits, lower deities, or anything that is being sent to us out of jealousy, envy, rage, or to negatively impact our lives, well-being, or the well-being of our children and our loved ones. We ask of you immediately, instantaneously to send it back and to remove it. Mote it be, amen, immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and please block any interferences during this reading. All right, my babies. So let's see what is going on. All right, in the present moment, moving forward. So we do have at the bottom of the deck today. So let's see what's going on today. All right, in the present moment. Like I just said, well. So what's going on, spirit? I'm hearing someone is mad. Someone is pissed. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, because you threw them out. You don't want anything to do with them. And it's for good this time. <clears throat> yep. What's going on? Yeah, this person is watching you constantly. Okay, from fake accounts, their original account. But they're watching you. I'm hearing that song, Every Move You Make. Every step you take, I'll be watching you. Yeah, this person's watching you pissed. Could even be evil eyeing you. <clears throat> but all of that negative energy is going right back to them and is affecting them. It's not affecting you. Yeah. Let's see what else is going on <clears throat> when it comes to this person. This person's throat chakra is blocked. Yeah. They can't talk to you and they're pissed. But they can't stop watching you. What's going on, spirit? Yeah. You could be in a commitment. Or this person wants a commitment with you. <clears throat> yeah, you're in a commitment. This person is pissed that you're in a commitment. That you're with someone that absolutely loves you. And that has all eyes on you. No one else. This person is evil eyeing your commitment. But I'm trying to tell you all that negative energy. Or any negative intentions. Any ill will spoken upon you and your commitment is backfiring onto this person. That's what's going on today. This person mad that you found someone that absolutely loves you, 
and this person is evil eyeing that commitment, praying that it doesn't work, but it's only backfiring onto them. You're fine. Let's get one more. Yeah, they're plugged in. They're pissed. <laughs> they're watching you online. So you could post online. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. 855. You could be seeing 855, 555, 888. All right. Um, this person is plugged into your commitment in regards to watching your commitment if you post anything online. And this person is pissed. Um, significant change. You could be seeing 555. Like I said, that's huge significant shifts and changes in your life and 888 is wealth not just in finances but within your energy within your bloodline okay within your uh energetic field so you'll pull people opportunities towards you because you're in a wealthy energy a healthy pure energy 888 that also symbolizes that you will be rich okay so what's going on today when it comes to this person? What's going on today? Um, They want to come back to you. It's like they have this unexplained pull towards you. And they're pissed. They're pissed. Because <laughs> you're already committed. All right. What's going on? Focus. Yeah. Yeah. They know that you are done with them and you don't want anything to do with them. And they're pissed that you found someone that loves you for you. Thick and thin, good and bad, for rich or for poor. Yep. And they want to come back so bad. Like, ugh. Oh, the feeling is so intense. The pull is so intense that they want to come back to you so bad. It could be um just backfiring of the manipulation that they did towards you, any spell work, any witchcraft that they did towards you, it's, it's like backfiring. Thank you, Spirit. It's backfiring. That's why they have this irresistible pull towards you <clears throat> because it's the magic. It's the witchcraft. It's karma. It's the consequence. Say this person didn't use witchcraft, but they're a high manipulator. They're a narcissist. Well, the Spirit has turned the tables and made them obsessed with you made them have this irresistible longing for you and it won't stop it's a part of their karma it's a part of their consequences and you're over here about to be in a commitment or you're in a commitment that's what i'm hearing you're in a commitment okay commitment and this person knows that you're done with them yeah <laughs> this person was hoping that you would cut off someone that is fully committed to you why would you do that for fantasy land, for la la land, for unrealistic expectations of someone that most likely never took you serious or never took a chance on you. So this person expected you to cut off someone that you are committed to and that's not gonna happen. And they pissed. I'm trying to tell you, this person is so pissed. <laughs> this person pissed. Because I'm hearing their life was contingent on you meeting up with them or you linking back up with them or you choosing them no i heard you were guided not to do that you were guided not to choose this person and you followed the guidance <laughs> plug in i'm hearing this person's also pissed because you're very smart you're very strategic so when people don't Think that you're watching or paying attention you're always watching and you're always paying attention and this person's pissed that you already know their plot their plan their tricks that they want to play out on you and you're avoiding it <laughs> that's why they mad plugged in yeah this person's obsessed it is what it is i feel like you know this intuitively this person hides it but you know this intuitively this person is obsessed and the obsession is not going to stop man it's not it's a part of their karma okay but it will not affect you if this person you know <clears throat> sends you like negative energy because they're so pissed it literally just backfires onto them <laughs> i keep hearing that you are so protected 
Yeah, and they want access to you and you will not give it. Spirit is telling you not to give it to this person. Okay? This person is losing money. Okay? Come up in the reverse. This person is losing money and they're pissed because you hold the key. You hold the magic. You are prosperity. Walking is what I heard. You're very abundant. You are a master manifester. You get everything that you want because you work for it too. Okay? And because you follow the guidance and because you are still on the mission that you were given prior to coming to this earthly realm and you kept your promise to God. And that's why you're blessed. Okay? Like, <laughs> I told you. I shuffled the deck and right at the bottom, EBT. This person is broke. They're broke. And they expected to get access to you so you could be the remedy to help their finances. They could have did this in the past. If that was the case, it damn sure is not going to go down in the present nor the future. Because you've learned. You've grown. You've changed. Okay? Clearly, this person hasn't. Woof. Rude awakenings for this person. I'm trying to tell you. All right. Today, why are they being pulled back towards you? Let's get a little bit more info. Why? Because... They expected you to come back to them, but God was like, ta, 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 okay, no. Because God already knew their intentions, their motives, and it's not good. Plot twist, all right? So, they expected you to come back, be right back, but God said, no, I have something, someone better for you, okay? This person just wants you to fix their financial issues. This person is in court Business failures, investments plummeting, child support, going through a divorce for some of them, I mean, losing their job, lost. And they need you to give them direction or they need to siphon from you in order to gain your gifts, which give you direction to give them direction. Absolutely not. Plot twist. Yeah. <laughs> God was like, uh-uh, boo-boo. I told you you were guided by God to cut this person off, to block this person, and that you did. <laughs> Curve, okay? Denied, rejected, it's it's done. It's over. This person expected you to come back, okay? And God was like, no, block this person, and you did that. And this person's pissed because I'm hearing they have no way out of their situation. They're trapped. Could be trapped in a marriage. Trapped in a city, trapped in a situation, trapped in business ventures that they should have not started in the first place off of your energy. This person's trapped. Like, oof. And this person realize, or they're going to realize that they were tweaking. This person could be tweaking currently, right? Being very irrational. Intoxicating themselves with pills, drugs, for some cocaine to cope with their reality because they are completely lost. They don't have your gifts. They don't have your energy. They don't have your foresight. They're lost. And they're pissed. <laughs> because you will not give them an end to your energy. Because you're smart. You're strategic. You're intelligent. You have changed. You have grown. You are not the same person that you were years ago. And that's the whole premise or the whole reason for us coming to this earthly realm. To grow. Right? Focused and done. Yeah, they're watching you and you've made it crystal clear that you're done. Like, yeah. Focused and done. Yeah. This person feels like y'all were a perfect match. Y'all could have been a perfect match. This person feels like you have a deep connection to them. Yeah, to learn a lesson. This person was your karmic. Okay? The sparks probably did fly. Okay? I'm hearing quick attraction, but I'm hearing it ended just as quick as it began. And it was this person's fault. But also, it wasn't meant to go any further, is what Spirit is saying. So this person feels like you are the perfect match for them, and uh, they can't have you. Because whatever they did in the background, they did too much. They never took you serious. They talked about you. You know, like this person, they weren't a good friend. They weren't a good, you know, partner. They weren't someone that 
you deserve, you deserve better. That's what I'm hearing. But this person, all they can see you as is the one that got away, the perfect match. And they know that they'll never have another chance. Yeah. This person is realizing that they were tweaking. That's what I got in the beginning. Now, this person could be contemplating on whether they want to be senseless again because it's like this irresistible pull, longing towards you that is like overcoming them, overtaking them. And they may even do something reckless, which will just add more to their karma because you're protected. A lot of you are with your high level soulmate twin flame or you have this person coming in. So this person doesn't have an end. And God has completely cloaked your energy and blocked you off from this person. Spark, that's what I'm hearing. Spark, why is Spark here? Yeah, this person wants to act like that. Like, all right, we have mask here, right? This person, when they met you, they felt like you are the perfect match for them. They wanted to be with you. They saw you as wifey or husband material. They saw you as the one. But then they wore a mask because they wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. You know, the grass is greener, glitter gold, thinking, you know, you can find better when God presents you with a great blessing, an earth angel. Okay. If this has nothing to do with love, friendship, okay? This could have been a friend that you could have had a crush on, that could have had a crush on you. Perfect match, but this person, you know, never made you a priority, not even as a friend. So you were like, I'm cool, right? This person kept this to themselves and wore a mask. And honestly... This person is in so much remorse and regret because they wore a mask instead of telling you how they felt, what they thought about you, how impressed they really are by you. Instead, they chose to be intimidated and just do things that God didn't approve of in the background. That's why God told you to plot twist, reject this person. Had this person been a good person, God would have allowed you to go back. Yeah, but no. This person's a fraud. They wear a mask. Disguise not showing false identity. So right now, this person is keeping to themselves as they watch you, as they stalk you, you know, how regretful and remorseful they are because you are the perfect person for them. That's how they feel. And they will never stop watching you, but they know that they'll never have another chance with you. So this person is just watching you, having an irresistible pull to come back to you. And they don't know what to do. Commitment and drastic. All right. Yeah, so this person expected you to cut off someone that is there for you, that loves you, that nurtures you, that supports you. You know, this, this is a really good man or a really good woman, right? That God sent your way, a high level soulmate twin flame. This person expected you to cut them off drastically so that they can be a rebound, so that they can rebound with you. Absolutely not. I'm trying to tell you. Another message I'm getting with this spark and this mask, this person was also going to like overdo it. Even though they have like feelings for you, that they were going to overdo it so that they could, you know, rebound with you to take from you. This person is pissed that they can't do this shit because how are they going to upkeep their reputation? How are they going to keep this, you know, mask flowing without your energy, without you? <sighs> rebound this person needed you to be single and you're not single if you resonate with this reading you're not single okay yeah and you've already figured out this person's plot schemes and plans and you're not for the shit okay this person knows you know that uh they have some type of plot plan or scheme to take from you, okay? They could also be married. And them and their married person comes up with these schemes, plots, and plans against people like you, chosen ones, or people that have money or high vibrational individuals. No, absolutely not. Also with this card, you're already taken. I'm trying to tell you, the person that you're committed to wants to marry you. You're, you're not letting them go. They're not letting you go. It's a no-go for this person. Okay, they're going to have to suffer with their consequences and their karmas and their dirty deeds that they did. It just is what it is. They can't run no more. That's what I heard. Um, rebound. 
Yeah. This person betted on you and lost the bet, of course. <laughs> like you are not smart, intelligent, and highly gifted to already see this person coming in with a bullshit. Like, so God was like, just block this person. Okay. And that's what you did. Um, bet. Yeah. Oh, man, this person, I guess, made a bet with a bunch of other people that are just like this individual, very low vibrational. They made a bet that the person that you're in a commitment with is toxic. Jokes on them because the person is not toxic. <laughs> like, because they needed that person that you're committed to to be toxic so that they can come in and try to act like, oh, they're the better person so that they can take from you. No. No. Plot twist is God gave you your high level soulmate twin flame. How about them apples? Toxic wear. Oh, I bet, I bet she or he is in a toxic connection. No, that's you. That's the karmics. That's the low vibrational energy that this person is in. That's why they manifest those type of friends, people, and situations. That's why they needed your energy to override all of their negative ass energy that's coming in towards them now. Plus all of the karma and consequences. Oh, it's 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 bad for this person toxic exactly who who toxic this fucking person because <laughs> they mad that they can't take from you either with someone that they're married with or if they're single yeah who this is you i don't know who the hell you are you don't exist block <laughs> because the person you're committed to is not toxic they a real one just like you oh yeah this person just wants you to be single so they can do whatever they need to do because they can't do it while you're committed and they need your free will and you will not give it to this demon that resides within this individual or these individuals. <laughs> no. Plugged in and obsessed. Of course, they're obsessed. Yes. They're obsessed and they can't do shit about it. <laughs> With Savage Mode in the reverse. They can't do shit about it. All they can do is watch you and obsess over you. They can't send you negative energy. They can't do magic on you anymore. They can't evil eye. Anything they say upon your life, your love life, your career, anything instantly backfires. <laughs> instant karma. Evil eyeing you, instant karma. So they better be looking at you, your relationship, and your life with loving eyes or instant karma. Shit is going to automatically going to have a... Like their day can start off good and then they right, come onto your platform as far as looking at you on social media or whatever and if they start evil eyeing you their shit is their day is going to go to shit and like shit is just going to start happening bad for them okay that's how it's going to be but if they start off on a good foot and then they look at you with loving eyes and then their day will continue to be on the good foot you know despite the karma and consequences that these people are going through like people are woof. yeah going through a lot man all right this per I'm trying to tell you, if they disrespect you, I'm trying to tell you. It's like they can't get no revenge. They can't plot, right? They can't try to make you get karma for dabbling into, like, lust and temptation to cheat on your person or whatnot. So if they disrespect you or insult you or send you any type of negative energy, it just goes right back to them. Somebody will do it to them the same day. Ooh, yes, trust me. <laughs> Savage in reverse. Ooh, child. God don't play about you, baby. Not, mm -mm. Never did, is what I heard. We just needed you to uh, step into your power, baby, and get your power back. That's what we needed. Now that you got that, we, we, we not playing. For real, for real. Yeah. You are not infected, and you will never be infected. Not an STD, not a demon, not a gen, not an unclean spirit. You are cleansed, purified. You're an earth angel. Okay? Let's be clear here. They're obsessed because you're actually a good person. You're pure hearted. You're a great friend, a great confidant, partner, spouse. You are damn smart. And you're beautiful, handsome. You're the full package. Okay? The full package. This person is realizing that <clears throat> you are not infected by any type of Jezebel demon. You don't do witchcraft. This person's realizing that you never plotted against them. Why? For what? Yeah. So now this person has to sit in their bullshit. Like, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> and the bullshit that they created. 
also listening to other people that are envious and jealous of you. That's what I'm hearing. Oof, yes. Because you're meant to be very successful. You're meant to have a lot of attention. Okay? And you're meant to bring... Oh, sorry. And you're meant to bring spirit babies into this world. Okay? I know the world is shitty and I have a lot of conversations with my clients and just general people. They come up to me and just start talking. And they just say, like... They don't want to have children in this society because it's so bad. But it's like, you know, God needs kids to be born. Light workers, you know, highly spiritual beings that are half-breed humans to be born. <laughs> because we need help on this planet. You know what I'm saying? So don't worry, y'all. Your kids will be loved and protected despite what's going on in the world. This shit has been going on for years, y'all. So don't even worry about it. All right? You will be okay bringing in these beautiful angels earth angels star seeds indigo children just extraterrestrial hybrids okay they need to be brought into this world okay my babies all right um well this person's you know pissed and disappointed but it's like a part of that karma is that they're not going to be able to move on so this person will come up in your readings i'm not even gonna lie to you here and there right now you know we're exposing this person clearly that's what spirit is saying giving you the clarity when you didn't have any clarity, when this person was hazing you. Okay, like I said in the previous readings. Um, yeah, but eventually this person, it, their energy will linger for a while, but eventually it'll dissipate. But if you tap into readings like, oh, who's watching you? Who's obsessed with you? This person will come up, okay? But if you're tapping into readings like minds are moving forward, you know, yeah, they'll give the situation, but babies, y'all are on the right track. You're committed. This commitment that you're in. Yeah, you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities that this is your person. You are committed. Yeah. Or you have this coming in. Okay. Yeah. Separation. Harsh word. Yeah, spirit is saying don't be um, mean to each other. Don't separate from each other. Watch what you say to each other. Okay, you're committed. And Spirit is giving you signs to be kind to each other. Don't separate from each other because this, this person wants you to separate so they can try to get, get some type of scheme or plot off the ground. Mm -mm. That's another reason why they're stalking your ass too. So Spirit is saying don't separate. We're giving you a lot of synchronicities and signs that this is your person. Things are going to go good. Watch what you say to each other. Be kind to each other. Yeah. Go out, have some fun, live life, give each other the good vibes, okay? Trust each other, live in the moment, everything gonna be good. Oh, yeah, you're in love with each other. Of course you are, falling in love, yearning, special bond, yeah. No one's gonna break this up. And don't you allow anyone to break this up. Not even um, people that are trying to send you mental confusion. Get you some um, amethyst. And black tourmaline, that helps with psychic attacks, okay? Um, just the other day, I was having a huge migraine, you know, on the right side of my brain, which normally, that's people trying to siphon from your energy, trying to tap into your intuition. That's people trying to send you negative energy. And all I did was put the black tourmaline on my migraine, and within seconds, it absorbed whatever negative energy that these people were trying to send to me, and boom. Then I sent it back to them, okay? Okay? So yeah, these the crystal technology absolutely works. Make sure you're getting yourself some crystals. Make sure you're recharging them in the moonlight, the full moon, the sun, okay? Read your directions. But those also help tremendously with cleansing your energy, renewing your energy, you know, uh, helping you transmute energies. But the person that you're committed to, that you are dating, you have reconciled with, you will commit to, okay? Or a new commitment. This person's in love. You're in love with them. This person on the side that's watching you at a distance is pissed. Yeah. This person is like, I should have never put you on hold. But everything happened the way it was supposed to. You're not meant to be with this person. You're meant to be with a high level soulmate twin flame that you're already with. How does this person feel about you? This beautiful commitment that you're in. Or that you are salvaging. Because I'm getting that um, Queen Naja song, Hate Our Love. And I'm getting that um, that lyric when she say, they hate it 
when we make up after we break up. I forgot how she said it though. But yeah, so some of you, this is um, someone that you broke up with due to spell work. Like it wasn't off of your own free will nor your person's, it was spell work, manipulation. Okay, yeah. How's the person feel? Oh, they love you. They love you and they have no shame. They are like, what, bragging? I'm hearing about you. Open, I'm hearing an open book. You are worth it. This person doesn't mind putting you on their social media. They don't mind giving you your flowers. Oh, and they love your body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> they love your body, baby. But they love your self-worth. Because it makes you so attractive. Oh, this person's into you. <laughs> and this other person that's watching you, they piss. Uh, this person wished that they could manifest someone uh, like you. Or like your person that you are involved with. That's what's going on right now. You have connected with your high level soulmate twin flame. You guys are in love. You guys are not separating. You're watching your words. You're being kind and loving and affectionate towards each other. Both of you have cut off, you know, any third party situations. You have figured out that this person in the past just wants to connect with you just to take from you so that they can have a happy life and finances, pretty much your destiny, your vision, your gifts. You are not infected and you did not get any type of retaliation or get back on this person, okay? And that's why you're moving forward. This person is stressed the fuck out. Like, I'm so serious. This person is very stressed the fuck out because what are they gonna do now? What are they gonna do now, spirit? They gotta settle with a soulmate that is in love with them, but they're not in love with this soulmate. Maybe this is somebody that they're in a relationship with, partner with, or married to. This person does not love this person. They are so fucking depressed. Yep. Because you've already made your decision. But also with this, they could have already married a soulmate. A karmic soulmate. Yeah, they're going to marry the karmic soulmate. And yeah, it's over. He, they married a karmic soulmate because she was sexy. Because she looked good. Some superficial shit. Yeah, damn, this person feels stupid and humiliated. <laughs> the grass is greener, the glitter, gold type of mentality this person has. This person is so fucking jaded. Like, they're stuck. They're stuck. So I feel like they're stuck with a karmic soulmate, but I really feel like this is, is you. Like you are this person's soulmate. This person could have fell in love with you at first sight, but you're a soulmate, a high level soulmate that could have helped this person advance. That could have been a blessing to this person because you're coming out in this energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you could also be a karmic to somebody else. Like it just is what it is. But no, you are a high level soulmate to this person. So... This person could have been with you. It's possible. If your uh, twin flame didn't get it together. But see, your twin flame, I feel like you're with that person. Or your high level soulmate, you're with that person. Okay? So you could have been with a regular soulmate. Okay? Or a high level soulmate. But uh, this person fell in love with you at first sight. And they couldn't explain it. Um, but I feel like they settled for a karmic or uh, they thought, I don't know. It's like this person wasted a lot of time. They settled for a karmic because with the judge here, like they could be married. Then we saw the Mary card. All right. Um, this person's in love with you. Damn. Mm. But it's a toxic fucking love though because of what this person did. This person's stagnant. This person is making up excuses. I'm here giving people excuses and people, I'm here giving people the runaround. They're asking questions like, what's going on with this? And what's going on with that project? Or what's going on with work? Like this person's slacking or lacking or something can't get completed. And people are asking questions and this person's giving excuses and they're just getting more depressed to the point where if people invested in this person, people can take this person to court. Oh my God, they want their money back. Wow. This person's, I'm hearing this person's fucked. That's what I heard. 
Damn. Yeah, because they were disrespectful in regards to like money. Money. That's all that is, isn't it? <laughs> money. That's what I'm hearing. Let's see real quick. Yeah, they wanted you to come back. They triggered. Because you left them in the past and you decided to blow up. And they, they just can't stop watching you. This person, they are sad. Because I keep looking at this dog and all I keep hearing is I should have chose love. I should have chose you. I should have been a better person. Because you're giving everything that they want. Like I said earlier. That they want in a person. Mm. Woo. Well, here it is. But it's like, how can you feel sorry for someone that sat up here and put you through hell all because they were jealous? Mm. Yeah. You will not be doing anything sexual with this person. Absolutely not. Yeah. And they were boasting about, like, having sex with you, having you sprung, like... That you wanted them that bad. Like this person made you out to be like thirsty as hell. Or promiscuous. Someone that you are not. Like you were pressed over them. You're obsessed over them. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. And people are realizing that this person is a liar. That's what I'm hearing. You're in love. In a, in a fully blown unconditionally loving commitment. Pressed over who? This is, you're pressed over your twin flame. You're pressed over your twin flame that you're in a commitment with. I can't make it up. Yeah, you're, you're a freaking divine feminine. Yeah. This person's pressed over you. I told you, people know that this person is a liar. People know that you're a, a freaking baddie. You're an empress. Of course this person's pressed over you. Why would you be pressed over this person? They're a karmic soulmate. You're a higher level soulmate to them. Yeah, a friend is trying to manifest you. A friend is trying to do magic on you, but it's just backfiring. Yeah. <laughs> and every time it backfires, they just smoke and drink. And ah, it's bad. It's really fucking bad. Like... Every time this friend tries to do magic because they see you as a wish fulfillment, every time they try to manifest you, every time, boy, backfire. And they go smoking, drinking, trying to cope with the backfires. I'm hearing because you do not belong to them. You belong to who you're with. Yes, this friend will not glow up. Their glow up is done. Off of your energy? Mm hmm yeah, that's done. <laughs> it's coming back to you. Is what I'm hearing. But uh, people are seeing you as perfect. Even though we're all perfectly imperfect, man. So, yeah, people are seeing this friend for who they really are. Basic. I'm hearing a nobody. I'm not trying to be mean or harsh, but that's what I heard. A nobody. That's what I heard. Wow. Yeah, and this is never going to change because they're not meant to be chosen. You are. Real talk, trail talk. You keep it real. You always have. This person from the jump knew you were amazing, but they wanted to dumb you down to them so that they could compete with you or compete for you. And hell no, you're not doing that. If you did that in the past, that's because you didn't know thyself. You know thyself over and over and over. So you will not limit yourself. Especially, you already have somebody that will per will do everything you ask for. Right? No, this person is not, you know, a fucking um, pushover. No. They love you. They love you. This person doesn't. And it's just that simple. Um, that's the message. There's no advice. If you're in a commitment with your twin flame high-level soulmate... Keep it pushing. Keep it moving forward. You guys have great things ahead of you, okay? Great things ahead of you. 
Let's get work for it. The collective and this uh, twin flame high level soulmate. Yeah, spirit is just saying like, be kind to each other. Like I said, don't separate, right? Always talk to each other, right? Always have that open communication. Be honest with each other. No matter how harsh the truths are, it's better to be honest so that you can heal and get and move past it, right? Yeah. I feel like you and your twin flame already know the truth of what has happened, okay? There are parties, interferences, yeah. So now you and your twin flame is moving forward. All the cards are on the table. There's nothing to be hidden anymore. Moving forward, that's what I feel. You and your twin flame, you're a high level soulmate. Yep, and now you are, you know, leveling up, rich mindset, financial freedom, high earning woman and high earning man. Yeah, you guys have moved or you are being guided to move, but you're ascending together as you are supposed to be, okay? These karmics wanted to ascend off of you and your person. No, you and your person are meant to ascend together and that's what is going to be. Yep, that's why God gave you, through the midst of the chaos, confusion, and the drama, a fresh start. And honestly, these karmics are probably like, how the fuck did these twin flames, high-level soulmates, in the midst of all of this magic and spell work and all that shit we was doing to fuck them up and fuck their finances up and their mental up and have them arguing and wanting to be single and leave each other and much more and keep away from each other, how the hell did they come together? How the hell did they take a risk? And how are they stable? Because God, that's how. Because we believe in a higher power that got our back all day, every day. That's why twin flames and high level soulmates, righteous individuals will always get a helping hand when they're going through chaos from individuals that are very selfish and not selfless. That's how. God, the one thing y'all don't believe in or y'all refuse to have faith in or believe in. Okay? And I'm not talking about you collective when I say y'all. I'm talking about these karmics, these people that denounce God, these people that think that they can play God, these people that go over to the other side thinking that they're getting a better deal. Like, you're never getting a better deal. Like, I don't understand, when will people wake up to that? But I'm going to just leave it right here, baby. This is the message. I'm not going to make the, the video any longer until we meet again. We have more to expose, okay? So right now, all this person can do is just sit back and be mad and be obsessed. <laughs> it is what it is. Sounds like the roles have reversed. This person wanted you waiting, wanted you obsessed. And I feel like you were just keeping tabs. Right? I feel like you had a yearning and a pull towards this person because of magic. Right? But you, you're too fucking strong. So you pushed that energy off and you kept your eye, you know, on your mission and to the grind. And you kept your eye on these people. And you played the game. You played it good, boo. <laughs> um, if you played the game. Some of you didn't play the game. Some of you just were completely oblivious and God had you moving in certain ways, but you ain't really know. You just followed the guidance. And people thought you were playing a game or you're strategic. No. God said, move right, you move right. God said, do this, you did that. And it seemed like you were strategic or you were plugged in, but you probably weren't. You probably were so fucking oblivious to these individuals doing this shit. But see, God saw it. And God, and because you you have your like undeniable faith in God, you can't go wrong. Trust me, it's using myself for example. Like I've made moves where I was like, oh shit, I don't even know why I did that. But I think something took over me to make me do certain things. And then when I look back on it, it was God. It's the angels. It's the benevolent ones that want the best for those that want the best for themselves and to help others. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many people that want to take, 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 take from you in this world. And it's refreshing to have people that just want to give and help those that are lost. You know what I'm saying? Because... Even if you hear the information, you may not hear the information until someone puts it into a terminology that you can deeply understand. And that's my goal here, man. I love you guys. I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to leave you on that note. You're amazing. You deserve this love. Accept it. Especially if you're with your high level soulmate twin flame. Okay? 
and enjoy it. Man, like, enjoy it, babies. Please. I love you. Until I come back with more information. Bye.